Hey everybody, today we're going to start to look at some acid-base reactions. All acid-base reactions are equilibrium reactions, but what we're going to look at first today is how can we tell if the reaction is reactants or products favored. So in other words, does it have a very small K value or a large K value? If we take the acid, hydrochloric acid, and we put it in water, hydrochloric acid is being a proton donor in the forward reaction there. It's donating a proton to the water, turning the water into H3O+. The water in this problem is acting like a base, a proton acceptor. After the hydrochloric acid donates its proton, it turns into chloride ions. The chloride ions are the conjugate base of our strong acid. So both hydrochloric acid and H3O plus are acids. If you look at the Ka value, you can decide that K, the HCl is a stronger acid because it has a larger Ka value. When you look up the Ka values of strong acids, they always just say the word large, they don't even give it a number. Whereas the Ka value for our H3O plus is one. Uh, water and the chloride are both acting like bases in this problem, depending on if you're thinking about it from the forward reaction perspective or the reverse reaction perspective, um, both acting as proton acceptors. And you can tell that your water is the stronger base out of the two of them uh, because if you look up the Kb value for water you get 1 times 10 to the negative 14 where chlorides is so small they don't even provide a number. The K value for the forward reaction is much much greater than 1 since HCl is a strong acid and therefore ionizes completely. So while it's technically at equilibrium, uh, it's, the K value is so large that it's essentially a right pointing arrow only. It's a product's favored reaction. And we would say that equilibrium lies to the side of the chemical equation having the weaker acid and base. It very heavily heads towards H3O plus and Cl minus. And we saw on that previous slide that the H3O plus was the weaker acid and the Cl minus was the weaker base. Let's look at another example. So we just did hydrochloric acid plus water. Now let's do acetic acid plus water. What happens when you have a weaker acid plus water? The Acetic acid is still acting like an acid, a proton donor in that forward reaction, turning it into the acetate ion. The acetate ion is the conjugate base of our weak acid because it differs by only a proton from the acetic acid itself. Water is acting like a base in this problem as well, a proton acceptor, and turning into H3O+. So H3O plus is the conjugate acid of our water. When you look at the Ka values for acetic acid versus the Ka value for H3O plus, the H3O plus Ka value is much larger than the Ka value for acetic acid. When you compare Kb values for water and the acetate ion, the acetate ion is the stronger base. It has a bigger Kb value than water does. In this reaction, you can see how the arrow that I've drawn in there, uh, it's a bigger arrow to the left and just a little arrow to the right. The K value in this reaction would be much less than one, a fraction, not a negative number, but a fraction because acetic acid is weak and therefore doesn't ionize very much. This reaction is reactance favored. Most acetic acid would stay together as molecules and not ionize and turn into H3O plus and acetate ions. 
So equilibrium lies to the side of the chemical equation having the weaker acid and the weaker base. Did you see the pattern? In both cases, whether we put a strong acid in water, hydrochloric, or a weak acid in water, acetic, in both cases, equilibrium lies towards the side of the weaker acid and base. It's going to head towards the weaker acid and base. So how with equilibrium reactions, we draw arrows pointing both ways. You would draw the arrow pointing to the weaker acid and base. That arrow would be bigger than the arrow pointing to the strong acid or base. Your protons transfers are always going to go from the strong acid, the one that donates protons really well, to the weaker acid and base side. So there's those arrows. When you have a strong acid, strong base, um, then the arrow, the top arrow there is large. The bottom arrow is small. So the big arrow is pointing towards the weak stuff, meaning the reaction mostly heads in that direction. If the situation was reversed and your weak stuff was on the left-hand side, then the arrow would be pointing to the left. Let's take a minute and see if we could figure out which way the equilibrium lies. Should we draw a bigger arrow pointing to the right or to the left in this reaction? So if we had phosphoric acid and the acetate ion, that phosphoric acid could act like a proton donor and give a proton to the acetate ion leaving behind H2PO4 minus an acetic acid. That means that your H3O, H3PO4 is acting like an acid, a proton donor. Therefore, the H2PO4 minus is its conjugate base. The acetate ion is acting like a base, a proton acceptor, and then acetate's conjugate acid, acetic acid, is its conjugate acid, right? So both the H3PO4 and the Hc2H3O2 are both acting like acids in that problem, depending on if you're picturing the reaction going to the right or to the left. And the acetate ion and the H2PO4 minus ion are both acting like bases proton acceptors, depending on which way you think of the reaction going, right or left. So we need to compare the Ka values and the Kb values of those four substances and identify which ones are the stronger or weaker acids and bases based on their Ka and Kb values. When you look at the Ka value for phosphoric acid versus the Ka value for acetic acid, since the Ka for phosphoric acid is a bigger number, 7.5 times 10 to the negative third, compared to acetics, 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth, that means that H3PO4, when you put it in water, it ionizes more. It's the stronger acid out of those two. Between our bases, the acetate ion and the H2PO4 minus ion, the acetate ion is a stronger base. It does a better job of accepting protons in those reactions. 5.6 times 10 to the negative 10th is a larger Kb than 1.3 times 10 to the negative 12th. Since reactions are always going to head in the direction towards the weaker acid and base, we're going to draw our arrow to the right, a products favored reaction. And there you can see the arrows going in with the top arrow pointing towards the products as the bigger arrow out of those two.